Hello everyone, I'm out here today at the Hammock Dunes Club with certified master chef Jason Hall. And Jason is with the American Culinary Federation. And today you're gonna to be having a new take on some pretty common dishes. What can you tell us today? Yeah, uh, we're gonna focus on succotash today, which is a common Southern dish. Um, it's a stew of vegetables pretty much, but we're gonna use some different ingredients and, and do some different things with the ingredients that are already in succotash. So we're, we're gonna be using uh, morel mushrooms, which have great flavor. Uh, they saute up well, they, they kind of transition their, their flavors over into the other things, but it's still mild. So the succotash is gonna be focused on morel mushrooms uh, and Zellwood corn, which is local Florida. We, we normally try to buy no, uh, local first. Uh, and that transitions over into the fish that we're gonna be using also, which is local black sea bass uh, caught right off, right off the coast of uh, Daytona Beach. Um, so we're just going to kind of uh, stew out the, uh, the corn and the morels and, and make this great flavorful uh, vegetable stew. Uh, we also harvested the cobs from the corn after we grill roasted them and then made a corn stock. So it's going to be nice and nice and full of that rich corn flavor. Chef Hall, so you mentioned you were with the American Culinary Federation and that was just a competition that you were in where you received a pretty nice distinction. What, is, yeah. what can you say about that? Sure. Well, I was asked to try out for the, uh, the Culinary Olympic team for the United States, which uh, comp uh, composed of only uh, six people, five uh, chefs and one pastry chef. Uh, there was 26 people invited to try out. Um, the first tryout was cold food, so we did pâtés and terrines, uh, platter work, presenting hot food, cold, uh, glazed with aspic, and was fortunate to get a bronze medal. So um, I found out this week early on that I'll be moving on to the hot food tryouts, which will be the last of it before they decide who will be on the team in September. All right, so as I said, you're cooking sea bass for us today in, in a succotash dish. Correct. So I'm going to turn it over to you and uh, teach us how to cook it. Perfect. Well, as I said before, we're going to be uh, making some succotash today. Uh, we're using Zellwood corn uh, from Zellwood, Florida, uh, and morel mushrooms, which we have in the dish. Um, we're going to have a lot of ingredients in this succotash. Uh, the whole purpose is to build flavor. So we're going to start off with some butter, a little bit of bacon that we render out, and then we're going to add some shallots and some garlic. Uh, we're going to add some lima beans, some fresh tomato concasse, uh, some leeks, the corn kernels that we previously uh, grill roasted and then shucked off the cob. Uh, and then from those cobs, we made some corn stock. So we chopped the cobs nicely, added some vegetable stock, which we make in-house for all of our vegetable sautés and things, uh, and then brought that down as a reduction. So we have this nice infused corn stock flavor to build um, to build the flavors and kind of intensify things. Uh, then we're going to finish it with just a touch of brandy, uh, which will give it a nice, nice little robust flavor. Some fresh uh, parsley, thyme, scallion, a little bit of lemon juice for some acidity, and a little bit of heavy cream to stew the whole thing together. So I have my, uh, I have my pan hot over here on the stove, just uh, getting it up to temp. We're going to start off with a little bit of butter. A little bit of our rendered out bacon fat. And then our previously cooked out bacon. And we cut our bacon into what's called lardoons. Uh, so we cook our bacon out in advance. Uh, we cut it into the lardoons, as I mentioned. That way we're able to pick these things up a little bit more quickly during service time. Um, so we're gonna go back over to our ingredients and we're gonna add some shallots and a little bit of garlic. And we're just gonna sweat that out till it gets nice and fragrant and aromatic. And we really want these flavors to develop. So we're gonna get them to start uh, releasing their aroma and the shallots to get a little translucent and the garlic to start toasting slightly. Now we're gonna add some leeks and our tomatoes. And we use tomato concasse which means that we have uh, previously uh, blanched them in boiling water uh, to remove the skin and get the seeds out. We just want the tomatoes to start breaking down and releasing their juices into the other ingredients. Uh, the leeks will do the same thing. And we've cut these leeks on a nice bias to give it a little bit of different kind of uh, knife cut in there, make it look a little more interesting and it'll be a nice little stew. All right, so now we have our tomatoes and leeks and bacon, which have stewed down a little bit. We've started to develop this, this nice little fond, we call in the pan, which is uh, uh, short for foundation. So we're gonna end up at the end using a little bit of brandy to bring that back into the entire dish and pick up all those flavors that are caramelizing as we cook. 
Uh, now we're going to add a little bit of uh, blanched uh, haricot vert or French baby green beans. That'll give it a nice little texture. Uh, some lima beans. And our Zellwood corn that we've grill roasted in advance and shucked off the cob. And we cook this about 50% um, about on the grill and then we add uh, a little bit of garlic and thyme and olive oil and bake them the rest of the way in the oven so we develop a little bit more flavor. So now this mixture is going to cook down and we're going to add some corn stock to it to start stewing it all out and, and uh, building those flavors as we get a little further along. All right now uh, our tomatoes have started to stew out. We can see some nice juices forming. So we're going to add the morel mushrooms which are our springtime uh, and seasonal mushroom that we have. They're very, very, very porous uh, and plump and they have great flavor, so that's going to start developing some even deeper flavors uh, and earthy flavors to our succotash. Uh, now we're going to add a little bit of salt and pepper. We season uh, everything in layers so that we end up at the end with a nice, bold, basic flavor. A little fresh ground black pepper. And we're going to add some corn stock. We talked about the corn cobs earlier. Uh, we've made some corn stock out of the cobs and a little bit of vegetable stock. That's going to build those flavors, and we're going to let this just reduce slightly. Once that does reduce down, we're going to add a little bit of brandy to it, kind of flambe it, and get the uh, alcohol burn off and pick up all the nice fond and foundation flavors that we've made thus far. We're going to add our brandy, which we'll pull it off the stove for. And we'll let that cook down and kind of build some flavor. As that cooks down, we're going to add a little bit of fresh lemon juice. And we're going to finish it with just a little bit of heavy cream. All right, our succotash has been cooking for about two to three minutes. Uh, the heavy cream's reduced, the brandy's reduced down, the corn stock that we added to it is also reduced. So now we're going to finish it with some fresh herbs to finish off our flavors. Uh, we have some fresh chopped thyme. scallions, and a small amount of parsley. Now as I mentioned before, we're going to be serving this with local black bass. I have that caramelizing here next to us, and what I mean by caramelizing is we leave the skin on during the cooking and we cook it about 90% skin side down. That gets the skin uh, nice and crispy. There's uh, vitamins and nutrients in the skin, so we, we typically like to serve our, some of our fish skin on when it has those characteristics. And then you get a nice texture. You get the crispy skin versus the flaky fish, uh, and it pairs up extremely well with the corn succotash we have about to finish right here. All right, so we made a little bit of uh, corn sauce also. We used the corn stock and the harvested corn kernels and made a nice light puree. Uh, that's going to be our base. And we're just going to put that on the bottom of the dish and kind of spread it. Then next is our succotash with more on mushrooms, leeks, bacon, um, the roasted Zellwood corn, and that's going to go just in the middle. And now last but not least, our nice uh, local black bass caught off the coast of Daytona. We'll go over top. We've got that skin nice and crispy, and then we're just going to add a little bit of herb oil that we made with tarragon, thyme, and parsley. A little bit of extra virgin olive oil. And there you have our black bass with uh, local succotash and more mushrooms. Chef Hall, this looks great. And uh, you've received a lot of awards personally, but you work here at the Hammock Dunes Club. Right. And I understand they've got some distinctions as well. What can you say about that? Sure. Yeah, well, I'm very fortunate to be a part of Hammock Dunes Club. Uh, we have a great supportive uh, management staff, board of directors who are very supportive of these continuing education projects. Uh, but we, uh, we're very fortunate to also have our uh, Platinum Club status, which puts us in the top 10% uh, of all country clubs in the United States. But recently we were designated as an Emerald Club uh, also, which puts us in the top 20 um, country clubs in the United States. So it was uh, really to put us a little bit further under the microscope. It's a lengthy process of having a couple of, of uh, people come out, evaluate us, uh, go through three, four page interviews for each of the department heads. Uh, and, and we're very fortunate and honored to now hold that designation as well. Now, there's the phase two of the, uh, the competition that you're in. When and where is that? Uh, it'll be at the College of DuPage in Chicago, August 24th. 
Uh, I'm excited to get there and cook um, and, and represent the club and represent Palm Coast. Great, so I'm, I'm sure your, your menu for the, uh, the competition is top secret, but judging by, uh, judging by this, I think it's a winner. So uh, everything looks great. I appreciate uh, thank you for your time, Anytime. I appreciate it, and uh, good luck at the competition. Thank you so much. All right. Thanks. And that's your Observer video for Thursday. For news anytime, log on to our website at palmcoastobserver.com and be sure to like us on Facebook. By the way, you can also find the Hammock Dunes Club on Facebook as well. I'm Jared Malden. Thanks for watching.